Oh, did you figure out where all this signal was coming from? No. This signal from this thing is way too intense for my hacking abilities. I don't have the right computer hardware that I need, and it just takes too long to download. For now. Until I have the necessary equipment. Well, there goes all hope for finding your missing slice of pizza. Uh, well, uh, wh Harper, why would this machine thing even be in your house? I mean, the only people who could have used it was Winston Barkley and his wife. Yeah, that, that's a good point. So, so maybe they have something to do with this. And if we find out, well, where Winston or his wife is, then we might just be able to track down exactly what this machine is and what happened to your slice of pizza. Great! So, all we have to do is somehow track down where his wife is since Winston is dead, presumably. Oh, that's easy. I can whip that out right now if you want. Wait, you're able to track down where Winston Barkley's wife is? Yeah. Well then how come the police couldn't for all these years? Maybe it's because most of them don't have a brain of a hacker high schooler, so yeah. So exactly how do you think you're going to track his wife then? I would get done faster if I wasn't interrupted, but simple. All I need to do is to hack in on all the cameras around the city, and once I do so I can find his wife, see the exact time location, once I hack into the jail system. Then I can see the criminals, their records, whatever. And then throughout her certain past of her credit cards, whatnot, we can see what locations she's most found in. And once doing so, I can just use the cameras and narrow it down into a specific area, and then I can pinpoint her location. Simple. Well, that didn't sound very simple to me, but I guess I trust you. Bingo. I found her, pinpointed her location, I will print out a map of where to go to her house. Here are some Google map directions. Should get you to the right location. Good luck, and if you find her, when you turn her in, remember to pay me. Not everything I do is free, you know. It comes with a price. Uh, that's sketchy. Now, you two can have fun trying to get killed by some psycho you don't even know. I'm gonna go home and paint out my emotions. Wow, oh, she really is interesting, isn't she? <laughs> yep. Come on this way. Girls. Where in the world do you think you're going at this hour of the night? Uh, to get ice cream? Yes, to get ice cream, since Addison is sleeping over tonight since it's a Friday night. <laughs> This is a new neighborhood, and I don't know much about it. You know how I feel about you girls being out late. I know this city like the back of my paw, especially because I actually never look at the back of my paw. So, I mean, that like really doesn't make a lot of sense, but yeah, you know, I, I really know it. Trust me. Stick together. As long as you girls are back by 10, then that should be all right. Okay, thanks, Mom. Come on. Well, here we are. All of the sudden, I have the sudden urge to pee. Me too, but you you, you can hold it, uh, so can I. <sighs> I should knock. <laughs> um, is it creepy that I can see someone inside? What? Yeah, their back's turned toward us. What if they have a knife in their paw? <sighs> Let's just get this over with. They're not turning around. Maybe, maybe they just don't want to be bothered. Maybe we should actually leave. <laughs> or maybe we should just knock again. Oh my gosh, they're coming! Make sure they don't have a knife in their paw! I don't know. I can't see. We're at a criminal's house. What do we do? I don't know. This is why bad guys always live at the edge of the forest. It's because they can get away with murder. Ah! Do you know? Do you know them? Uh, who's them? Who are you and what are you doing at my house? We come here with questions. Questions about Winston Barkley. I don't wish 
to hear that name. If you're with the police, get out. Most visitors I have actually don't usually end leaving with their lives. Right, we will be right out of your fur. Come on, Harper, let's go. Hold on. Does this ring a bell? Well, it's quite an interesting decorating style you have going on. Funny, I found this old abandoned shack. I decided to take refuge in it. And as I said, most people that come to my house don't usually end up going out alive. I'm joking, I'm joking. Jeez, get a sense of humor. Oh, <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> I can't oh, stop ha, laughing. Ha, ha, me too. <laughs> you're sure you're joking? Yes. Tell me how you obtained that object. For my father's job, we had to move houses, and it just so happens that we bought your house. We found this object in your attic. So tell us. What does it do? Because for Harper's school project, she put a pizza in there. A full pizza, and it came back with a missing slice after she used that. This was a mistake. You should never use this object. It, it changes everything. You must destroy this. Destroy it? No way! Everyone was impressed by it. I'm not just going to throw it away like that. Tell us what this object does. If I tell you what it does, do you promise not to turn me into the cops? I... Okay, deal. Back in the day, Winston had a good friend. It all started back when Winston and his buddy Jonah were working on a project. They two were great inventors and they worked together. All until one day they created this machine, which is the one sitting here on this table. It was more powerful than they had ever known. They knew that they could make a lot of money if, if they made more of these and sold them to scientists all around the globe, but however, there was a disagreement. There was only enough parts to make one. Jonah Nicholas always dreamed of being a multi-millionaire software company CEO. Both disagreed, and one night, Winston snuck into the lab and stole this off the desk. Jonah soon found out, and I was very mad. This machine is what I used to do my fortune telling. My job was suffering, after all, until I actually had this. Using this contraption, you can look slightly into the future. This is how I predicted. In order to s predict and to see someone's past or future, you must be in with a certain radius. So I use this. Over time, Jonah Nicholas created a company, a software company, and it was very successful. Soon after that, my husband disappeared. I was framed by Jonah that I had murdered my own husband. Since Jonah Nicholas is such a figure in the public eye, he was not even guilty nor charged. Jonah did a good job of hiding up evidence that he ever even knew Winston and said they were only acquaintances. I was taken to jail. Even if Jonah was put into jail, he could easily bail himself out. And so I was framed for the wrong reason. Oh, that's terrible, I'm so sorry. So, well, why don't you go and confront Jonah Nicholas? That'd be stupid of me to do. I'm on the run. I'm wanted for cops. I escaped a prison. I could be executed if I do such a thing. Plus, I have no power against Jonah. He's a multi-millionaire empire. And now, please go. I need to remain undiscovered, so please leave. Right. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Do you believe your husband died? Get out now. Right, sorry. So, what do you think about her now? We don't even know if she's telling the truth. For all we know, she could be lying to us to throw us off a track. I just don't know what we're gonna do. We need to somehow talk to Jonah Nicholas. He might have some answers. And another question I have. Who is... Them.